guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to another video, and today, my sisters are having a mental breakdown. Hey, that's what's happening today, my friends. I'm kidding. So, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to age up your pets fast and how to save money. Yeah. Let's get into it. So, one oh, way. Was starting uh, was shut up! I'm trying to film a video, woman. Sorry, I'm talking about my sisters. So, I actually don't use this method, but a lot of people use. So, if you have a separate device, like a tablet, that you can play Adopt Me on, so you can make a separate account and put it like next to your computer if you have one. You can do this with a computer and a tablet, or two tablets. But, I have a computer and a tablet, and also two tablets, so I can kind of do both. I think computer and tablet are the fastest. But, you make a separate account, and you friend your main account, and then you give one of the, like, I'm making a mega otter, guys. And, I would give, I would have an extra otter, I don't know what to do with it. Like this video if you want me to give away this otter right here but anyways uh, I have I would have this one and I made this up and then I'll give this one this otter to my alt account that I age things up on as well so it'll be like double aging at the same time which is a pretty good method that I honestly don't use the only one that I've ever had help with was this neon clinic box um, and then I made the rest of the neons myself, except for this neon koala, I trade stuff for it. I added the other neon other than this, other than the neon koala I did make. But anyways, I'm also going to be aging up my otter in this video as well. So, the second way how to save money is don't waste your robux on a magic, like don't waste robux on a magic door or uh, <clears throat> don't waste your robux on a magic door <sighs> or like trade stuff for it because all you have to do is just reset and respawn your pet and then you're out your house it saves you like a 200 robux and losing stuff it's great um, it's actually not officially loaded yet uh so i'm just gonna teammate i'm gonna train your animal Actually, no, I don't want you to try the little thing. But, yeah, that's how to save some money. Also, another way to age up your pet fast is I actually rejoined, but normally I don't have any right now because I just rejoined to my private server. But, get a bunch of healing apples. Get a bunch of healing apples from the hospital so you can cure them whenever you're there also i suggest a vehicle to get around they only have one vehicle it's the roller skates from the summer events but these are one easy to control like normally skateboards and cars and like scooters are really hard to control but these skates are so easy to control you can actually control them really well even on mobile so i highly recommend getting skates getting skates when you're making neons because you want a good vehicle that's fast and easy to control and i highly request the skate look they're fast and they're easy to control so, they're a really good choice when choosing a fast, easy to control vehicle. I've been using these, um, actually for a while now. And they're really super duper helpful. And yeah, that's why I highly recommend skates. For a fast vehicle that's easy to control and get around. Even you can even control these really well on mobile, so you won't have to worry about not being able to control them when you are on mobile. Also, they have really easy controls. Now I'm gonna teach you the controls. 
So guys, it's actually okay. So if you know, also one of the is you can't really go through doors, but that's unless you don't run into doors accidentally. But they're really easy to control, so I doubt that's gonna happen. But so forward, of course, is W. Now, S is it back? When you press S, it's actually a break. It stops you. So there's two S's. If you're moving while you press S, it's a break. If you're not moving to S, then it makes you go backwards. D and A are, of course, two twist it. See, four, four buttons and it, these, and they are controlled. But yeah, all you have to do is press the reset button. I gotta take off these first. Is press the reset button. Oh my gosh, uh, my thing is broken. But we're just gonna head home. <laughs> But just press the reset button and it works. I think it's because I'm in a private server right now. But let's see. Other times, how I save my money is I really want to spend it. So, so you know how all this money is tempting right here? Say you have around 6000 to 8000 like seven thousand to eight thousand dollars like me right now and you need somewhere to put it or you're gonna spend it all personally i'm saving up for the prehistoric egg that people are saying are gonna be coming this friday which is literally in like two days i'm crazy okay i really hope they do come this friday anyways you can go over here that's if you don't trust people then remove all your builders before you do this. If you have any builders, or do it with somebody you really trust. You're going to set the budget. Say, I want to put in two, uh, 2,900. And eighty six dollars. That's going to leave my money and go into my bank account. Now, I actually personally removed all the builders just because I'm not that trustworthy of people. But now I have this, and now I can set the budget. And now I can put four thousand in. Now I'm going to do seven thousand. Now, um, when you want it, you can just retrieve your budget, and all your money will be going back to your actual money account. That's how you don't spend all your money. Yeah. And actually, personally, going to be putting two thousand bucks into my bank account. I have 5,425 left to tempt me. And honestly, I don't think it's that hard to stop yourself from spending your money, in my case. But, of course, if, like, you're that person that is that really is tempted to spend all your money, then you might want to know this trick. And, <clears throat> but I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. <clears throat> also, there's a few more tricks I want to tell you guys. So, another trick that, that you can do to survive so um this is going to be not much saving money or aging up your pets so this is for getting more money now can you sh 
Sorry about that. Just telling my sister to shut up like every single video. Yep, my life. Okay. But if you want more money, then first turn into a baby. Now that I'm a cute little baby. You can't no longer pick up your, your pet, but that is fine. Anyways, now, if you don't, of course, um, you can live like this and get more money. But, of course, if you don't have unlimited food and, like, drinks, you see. Like, drinks, like here. Um, like, tea and pizza and donuts. Then, here are a few tips now actually guys i have been working on a little something that i wanted to show you now i've been working on this for about five weeks so far now it's been a really long time but ah, oh my gosh this ladder is rude Ugh. oh my god i'm not that fat okay I am actually hating it. Ugh. They me falling. They hate you. Okay, so my favorite color is lavender purple, so I decided to make a whole castle on top. Well, it's not really a castle, but I made the Italian one too. That was cute. But if you don't have a lot of this stuff, like a shower or a bathtub and stuff, a sleeping area for you and your pets. Um, and food and water. Well, I can just get the food upstairs. I'm still adding, but I can get water from here. Which I actually am going to do so right now. But I have water in my fridge right now, so if you don't have water and like tea and stuff, and like unlimited food and stuff, here's a little trick for you my friends so we are going to teleport to gifts so what you can do is move into the school now of course you can buy like a water dispenser for 300 Get that 300 back really easily. Like, really easily. And then have unlimited water for the rest of your life. Or buy tea, which is cheaper, and it still lasts you. I recommend the water expensive, though. <laughs> but, when you move into the school, because 300 bucks isn't that much, so you could buy this for pretty cheap. 300 bucks is actually pretty cheap, honestly. So, when you move into the school, you have pretty much everything that you need for a pet, except for the playground, shower, and then you could just, <clears throat> if you don't have food, just steal the juice apple every time you're hungry. Now, after you've done that, sometimes you have to go out and get the healing apples to go to the pool party, you know, all of the juicy stuff. But of course, if you don't want to do this every day, and you think it's going to be annoying, of course you're going to have to constantly probably be going into other houses, probably be going into your house to, oh my god, I'm go into your house <clears throat> to constantly take showers, but you can also just break into other people's houses in front of the portal now of course if your house is in front of the portal then you can just use your own house if you have a shower of course but if it's not then just fine hope the house in front of the portal or close one like that has a shower that you can use and other like water or like tea and stuff and food and maybe a piano yeah. you should probably hope that Okay. Now we're going to be saying how to actually avoid going places as much. Now, P 
people think that they aren't, they shouldn't do pool party and playground just because they don't want to go out. Now, actually, play, no, actually, you don't have to go out to go to playground. And you don't actually have to to and well, of course you have to go out for the pool party but the pool party actually gives a big percentage of Asia and actually a lot of money so i'd actually highly recommend it, especially because if you have a fast vehicle it's easy to control you can just teleport to gifts and glide over there really quickly for a lot of money so annoying right now anyways I actually noticed that I thought didn't know that I didn't know that you could just get a piano and it would cure your playground, your boredom. Yeah, you can really just get up, like put your pet or you on a, on the piano, and it will cure wanting to go to playgrounds. So you don't even have to leave your house. Isn't that crazy? I've been doing this wrong for my whole life. Uh, well, my whole adopted life. Oh well, yeah, I'm just, you just witnessed me breaking into this thing. And I don't really care. But, I personally, I personally didn't know that you could do that with pianos. And I just have two in my house now. One in my secret house and one in my main house. And honestly, it's really interesting how you can do that because I actually never thought of that. Also, guys, recommend it. If you really don't have any food, then I recommend this sandwich right here. Now, if you're running, it's food. That sandwich, whenever you rejoin, it respawns in your inventory. Crazy, right? So, yes, that's kind of unlimited food. You can just rejoin after you get all your pet's needs. And you have a sandwich again. I think it's a cool thing how you can do that. But, oh. uh, let's head back home. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God, please, no. Uh, yeah. I avoided it. I'm just a tiny little kid. Okay, let's glide this way. And let's go, 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 like a million times. Okay, guys, so actually, my house is in the middle of the front of the portal, so please don't break into my house. Okay. So guys, this has actually been an 18 minute video. Me just telling you guys this. Which I hope that some of these were useful to you guys. next time. Bye! Okay, bye guys.